Hello listeners, this is Alicia Fireheart on AFO Radio and today we have a very special guest. He is the one, uh, the only, uh, best in Singapore, <laughs> best in JB and some might say even all the way in Batam. We have Mr. Pwachu <laughs> Kang here with us. Mr. Grimit Singh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Thanks for the intro. Thank I you. didn't know whether to talk as Grimit Singh or as Pwachu Kang. What you use? Wait, which one are you more comfortable? I can speak in both. Not at the same time, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So thank you very much huh, for inviting me here. Come here to the show. Uh, this A A F O. Another fucking online radio. Wow, very good. I am starstruck back there right now. Oh my gosh, you. You are... saw a star. Where a star? Hey, then you, in front. Oh, Daniela. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but then you have been um a lot of our childhood memories growing up and everything. I used to watch Pachu Kang almost every. We oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That was really enjoyable. Thank you, uh, thank you. Yeah. So let's talk about the fashionable outlook that you used to have when you were dressed up in Portu Kang and everything. Like who created this style? Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> actually it wasn't very hard because back in the day everybody, all the contractors mm-hmm. dressed like that. They were, it was the fashion, the era okay. where they have curly hair. Uh-huh. And if you watch the Pre PCK because PCK came from another show called Girl Meets World. Mm. It was like an SNL thing, Saturday Night Live kind of show, where there were little sketches. And back then, in the very early stages, it would have PCK with the curly hair, with uh, my own hair sticking out at the bottom, uh-huh. so it's straight, so curly and then straight. Okay. And then there'll be a white striped shirt, and then the pants, and mm-hmm. then the yellow boots. That was a <laughs> standard. If okay. you look at any contractor in Singapore mm-hmm. back in the day, standard. With boots uh, and everything. With the boots, else. yeah, because it was you know it was uh, important to keep your toes from being back hiked off. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the look. But then we decided to go uh, a bit more. You know, it's mm-hmm. for TV, so you need to entertain bigger than life and all that. Uh, we thought that because he is a guy who has an ego, who thinks mm-hmm. he's got quite a tauke, he, he should put on some gold, because Chinese are very into gold, right? Yeah. Prosperous, status, what have you. Then we thought it would be very funny uh, in an inward kind of way, whereby he thinks he's the perfect man. He's like, damn suck, damn good. Yeah. <laughs> but then he's got this huge, big, bloody mole on his face, which oh, is yeah. the flaw. But okay. in comedy, that's how it works, you see, mm-hmm. where you think it's something, but then it's something else. Mm-hmm. And uh, we actually had a, I kid you not, we actually had a sit down meeting to decide where the mole should be between the eyebrows, on the oh. forehead, on the nose, on the chin, cheek, which cheek. We <laughs> even had a discussion about whether the mole should have hair or not. Oh wow! And then it came to a consensus that if you put a mole and a hair sticking out, it makes him look very sleazy, very pervert, uh-huh. therefore unapproachable. So we thought, no, hair is not good, never okay. uh, coming out from the mole. But with that little mole there, it made him more flawed and therefore mm-hmm. more approachable, approachable funny. Yeah. And funny, then, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, heavy duty, serious stuff, thinking about it before we... Stuff. Who knew one mole took how many meetings? I don't, I don't know. know, right? Yeah, yeah. Send the <laughs> government for approval. <laughs> wow. Now let's talk about um, the family in the Pochu Kang series. Which family? Oh, okay, the, yeah, the last family. We're still, we're still in the Pochu Kang world. Oh, you right mean now. my family? Yeah, yeah your family. Ah. Mm. How, how was everybody though? How was everybody? What do you mean? How was, how was everybody in, in, in that family? Because uh, During the show? During the show, yeah. I think it was uh, a match made in heaven. Uh, a lot of people feedback to us mm-hmm. that when they watch the sitcom, it felt really like they were watching a real family yeah. uh, in the living room, mm-hmm. in the dining room, in the kitchen. And I think part of it was first the casting, mm-hmm. the personalities just gel. Yes. And another thing that worked was that we did a lot of rehearsals. A lot of people thought that we would just come on set and then just record it and then mm-hmm. done. No, no. Four days, about four or five hours rehearsal before the fifth day we come to the studio rehearse oh. again and then we start shooting wow. and every time we finish our rehearsals we didn't just go our own way we would stay back mm-hmm. and we would play games like charades play football in oh, studio fun. we broke a few glasses but <laughs> that's all right and we 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 gel we connect we, we continue well. yeah. to uh, what do you call it fellowship and so mm-hmm. that we you know learn each other about each other's uh, quirks and irks and all that okay so i mean you're very funny person, per, uh, personally, even without the whole Pachuca personality on. What about like your uh, PCK wife, Rosie, yeah. and, and the other characters? Are they always that funny as well? Or were yeah. they basically trained to, to become so inside the sitcom? You know, personally, I think nobody can be trained to be funny. Mm-hmm. You can only go so far. Uh, I've been asked to do uh, uh, academy seminars and all that, mm-hmm. to train people to be funny. And I've always turned them down because I think I'd be cheating people of their money. I think a comedic timing is all innate. It's all born. You're born with, and if you don't have that timing, 
the There's best script so is still going to yeah. fall flat. Uh, but yeah, sure. the guys, they had good timing, they mm -hmm. had good... What was important also was not just your own good timing, but also to be able to support the characters in the scene mm -hmm. or uh, in the production. So sometimes, Portugal will be supporting Irene, uh, sorry, uh, Rosie's funny uh, line so yeah. that she shines. Sometimes Chu Bing will shine, sometimes Margaret will shine. Sometimes Amma will shine. So it was important as an actor mm -hmm. that we knew this is not my punchline, uh -huh. this is not my spot at time, I have to give and wow. I'm supposed to take. So that worked. So and much teamwork and everything yeah, goes definitely. along with that. Yeah. But I mean, the end product really looked so effortless. You know, it was oh, such a great <laughs> acting. Now, how's been life after PCK though? After PCK, I continued to do many more projects. In fact, mm -hmm. I was with the TV station uh, Mediacorp for 20 years. I was there when they were SBC, then they were TCS, then they were Mediacorp. So 20 years I was there. Any given day, I mm -hmm. was on two projects. Oh, wow. Some days I was on five projects because I could do uh, comedy, I could do drama, I could do a reality show, many host talents. my talk, my own talk show, mm -hmm. host my own children's show. I went on radio as well. Uh, so many things, movies and stuff. Uh, but after PCK was over, it was still continue to do and, mm -hmm. and people would say, so how is it now that you're no more PCK? The funny thing is that I'm still doing PCK, I'm not <laughs> off yet. Okay. Everybody else has gone their own way, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm very grateful by the way, I'm not complaining. Uh, people are still yearning for more PCK, until today I still get yeah. the question, uh, when is PCK coming back yeah. on TV? Yeah. Oh, she also I mean, I'm still waiting for that. You're still waiting? Okay. Yeah, I'm actually still, still waiting. You're waiting, you're waiting. Yeah. I'm still waiting, okay. Yeah. So I have, I have been still doing a lot of projects, but uh, in 2014 December, I left the station after 20 years uh, to be a freelancer, mm -hmm. uh, to do things part-time because I realized it was time for me to step back and spend more time for the family. For the real family. The real family, side. yeah. The one side. So the real family, because you know, it was really... Uh, Difficult to have that balance. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was no balance at all, like, to okay. be honest. It was more work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. In my mind, as a father and husband, I was saying to myself, I was uh, consoling myself, saying that, yeah, I'm providing for them, but you know, I give them everything else but time with them. Mm. And I thought that it was time to give my time. Oh. Mm. And I, I guess the family, the real family, was really supportive during oh, yeah. your yeah, busy period. Yeah, they locked me out in the room for one week. Then, uh, <laughs> Cause, cause why not, right? Why not? It was like, why not? hey, yeah. daddy's not home, you know, yeah. where's my husband? Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> now, what, let's talk a bit about the transition, you know, after you slowed down from all these projects. Do you yeah. miss the times that you were busy and everything compared it's to... It's funny, you know, uh, a, a reporter back in Singapore at a press conference asked me, Gamit, are you going to be bored? Because you've been so creative, you're doing a lot of work, mm -hmm. suddenly, very little word. You're gonna be bored, right? You see, the thing is, uh, people don't understand uh, who I am personally. Mm. Uh, I'm an introvert. I am a quiet guy. I like to hang out at home with the family. I can sit in front of the TV for 17 hours. I can play computer games. I still play Dota too. Oh, you do? I do. Who's your favorite character? Sniper. Oh, mm. okay. Do you play? I used to. I'm retired long time ago. Weak. So, anyhow, oh, oh, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Somebody oh, else in the studio oh, said that. Well, okay, okay. No, okay. That was a guy. Oh, forgive you. Mm -hmm. uh, you walked out now. He's like, it's a shame. It's a shame now. Okay, um, buddy's out of here. So, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I actually enjoy my little quiet time at home. Uh, and I'm very happy washing dishes, fixing the bulb lights, uh, the bulb lights, light bulbs, <laughs> stuff like that. People that people sometimes grab about or take for granted. For me, it's, uh, oh, I haven't done this now. I know so I got iron. Oh, okay. My, my dad too, like at home. Yes, he's, iron? Yeah, he's so fussy about how the clothes and everything look like. <laughs> so he'll actually stand there and be like, hey, go help me hold this. Yeah, I'm like, no, you can do it. You, have, you have to hold for, yeah. for him to so, iron? But honestly, like most of the times, he probably, does, <laughs> <laughs> he probably doesn't even need me or even sometimes my mom there. But then um, I guess, yes, then he also realizes like he was in the corporate last long time ago. So right. now he's just like, oh, I just want to spend as much time I can as with my family. You know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. He's asking you to hold the pants so that he can have the bond with you oh. through his pants. Pan That's, mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Remember but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so with that, I, I mean, I could possibly say that your family is as grateful that you're back now, you know, full time. I am grateful That's to be back with them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. No, but is there anything that you miss about the sitcom though? No, I mean, for sure. I, I love the job. I, I, I always said, I've always said that 
this line of work is really, really hard work. A lot of people think it's just read some lines, go on the TV or stage and then laugh. <laughs> and then it's never home. that easy, no, right? People just don't work. see the behind the scenes, all the hard work yes. and the effort that goes through. And especially if you're doing uh, filming outdoors mm -hmm. uh, and you are at the mercy of the environment. Uh, elements. If it rains or if the sun goes mm. behind a cloud, somebody horns, oh. uh, somebody walk by, when someone walk by, then you have to do over and oh, over yeah. and over the same line. Even in the studio where everything, the environment is controlled, mm -hmm. but if somebody fluffs the line, we do That's it again. Somebody time. wrong position, we do it again. Oh, the light yeah, change yeah. a bit, we do it again. So there's so many things we do again and again and again. So a lot of people don't know there's a lot of hard work. I've seen many There's young There's never ones. an easy shortcut, is no, there? No, no, no. Well, if you're tell. lazy, young, yeah, but then it will, <laughs> it will come back to you. Mm. So a lot of young ones who come into the line of work, they think they're, oh, they're big star, you know, and then within three months, they are so complaining and disillusioned, oh. that's it, you know, you didn't come with your eyes open. But I can go through all that mm -hmm. because I enjoy it. I love the work. I love what I end up giving to mm -hmm. the viewer, the listener, yeah. because uh, it, it, when it makes their day, it makes my day too. For sure. And I, I, and I wouldn't trade it for another world. Aww, that's know, so yeah. Except my family. <laughs> okay, for sure. Now, if you had one more thing to tell the old PCK for maybe like the first or second season, what would you actually tell them? Me tell the old PCK. What yeah, part? like the, the, the old, like the new PCK. Oh, the new old oh, PCK. Wow. Like this PCK, current PCK. If I go travel back in the past. Yeah, what would you tell uh, the old PCK? Like the young what PCK. Yeah, that's what I, I, What would I tell him? Yeah. I would tell him that. I was going to say dude, but he probably won't understand what the word dude is. Actually. <laughs> Can you imagine? Eh, hey, Portugal, dude. Huh? No. What is dude? You scold my mother. No, oh, I never said dude. I said dude. Oh, what is dude? What is that? I mean, it's okay. So if I were go to back to him, I would say, hey, Portugal, uh, you're just starting now this uh, sitcom. I know you're enjoying it, but there's so much more to enjoy. It's going to last for a few good years. And when you're done with it, you're going to be very, very happy. Oh. And do you think he'll listen? No. Yeah. <laughs> but alright, so enough of that, but today you are actually back here in Kuala Lumpur after many many years, you're back here at the Cold Convention Center for your Kwa Chu Kang show. Yeah. You're back bigger, better, more a banger. More, is that even possible? <laughs> well, you never know. There's people know. in marketing are telling me they're over, over promise and after that, so <laughs> little different. No, but uh, I haven't been away for many years. I have been back in uh, KL and different mm. parts of Malaysia but, as Kwan Chu Kang, uh -huh. but for company private functions. Mm. You know? But uh, for a big ticketed event like this, it's been, it's a, been while, a while, a few years now. And I'm very happy to be back here again. Uh, I was just sharing on stage just now outside at the foyer, yeah. at the lobby area that uh, I'm looking forward to the show because it's a brand new show as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's, so I like to sing, so there'll be okay. songs. I mean, you sang really well. When did you hear me sing? Like earlier, right before the show. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Oh, you thought you thought somebody else, and I thought maybe well, it's me. Yeah, I like I like to sing. Uh, there'll be singing. There'll be games, mm -hmm. new games. Uh, there'll be even an acting segment. Ooh, uh, we missed that. And you mentioned as well there's gonna be a really up close and personal. That's uh, right. Yeah. So that's a new segment that I thought. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing is coming from a personal point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, last year I suffered something called TGA, mm -hmm. Transcend Global Amnesia where I sat down and I had no idea where I was and oh. why I was there. And I was totally just lost looking around until my wife called me on the phone. And she told me where I was and she oh. talked me on the phone and got me to the car. And then she realized something was wrong because I kept oh. asking the same 15 questions. Oh. Over and over again. So she brought me to the hospital. They did some brain uh, scan, ECG, uh, e uh, e e e e e e e and all that. Uh, then we told them about, in the past I've had some fainting episodes, so they brought me to the cardiologist. And in the cardiologist, we did a few blood tests mm -hmm. and ran some tests. And there was one test where they strapped me to a bed and then they will uh, lift me up and then make me stare at the wall for 30 minutes. After that, they give me a substance that will quicken my heartbeat. 5% of uh, patients uh -huh. will pass out because suddenly it's running so fast, okay. right? And then the bed will tilt back and then the blood will rush back to your brain, you will get up again and say, okay, you are one of the 5% loser, kind of thing. <laughs> so they want to see how far uh -huh. my, my, my heart could take. So it happened, I passed out. Oh. And then when I woke up, I was flat on the bed and look up, there were nurses and doctors and I said, oh, phew, I'm one of the 5% I fainted. Oh. And they said, uh, sorry, Mr. Singh, you don't only did you faint, but your heart stopped. No way. Yes, way. And I could have died then, then. 
And uh, ever since that day, after that day, every day is a blessing for me. Wow. So, to me, I mean, touching wood, this could be my last show, right? You never know. You, I mean, to be very candid and to be very uh, morbid, any day could be your last day. True. So, uh, I'm, go I'm going all out for this show. I'm hoping to, to share with people as much as I can. And that's why I want to do the up close and personal because I want people to know more than they bargained mm. for, more than they paid for. This, this ticket, you're tearing, why? Because I'm like, oh, this is such a touching oh. thing and I'm such a huge Bless fan. You. So just to listen about Bless this you. right now, it's just... Yeah. So yeah. this interview may not have happened, you know, if I had gone off... Oh the... my gosh, don't start, oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. 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 Or maybe I'm just an impersonator. Oh, my boss is looking at me tearing right now from outside. He's <laughs> crying. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so this show I wanted, I wanted to share. I just okay. want to share, I just want to be there and um, let people take home something okay. more than just a show. Wow, and that's really, really touching. Oh my gosh, I'm tearing up Jeez. talking about this. Ah. So if you guys have not purchased oh, the tickets yet, you I guys... Give you a hug? Yes! <laughs> um, wow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, I needed that. Alright, so if you guys have not... Oh, not the tickets yet, make sure you, you guys do so. Yeah, you guys better get the tickets because tonight's show is going to be unbelievable. He's just laughing at me tearing up over here right now. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, tonight, 23rd of November at 7.45 p.m. Don't be late at Pool Convention Center upstairs. You're going to see Grimmit Singh as Kwa Chu Kang. Um, one of his best shows ever, so get ready. I hope so, I hope so. thank you All very right. much. Alright, thank you so much Gurmit for having, uh, for coming here today and sharing your amazing story with us. Mm. Mm, okay, I'm gonna stop tearing and this is Alicia Fireheart and back to you here on AFO Radio. Let's get it on. We got some food bread made for you! The music. AFO. 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 Hold up, it's AFORadio.com. Let's go!